Something unbelievable happened at the Atlanta Motor Speedway this past Saturday, and it's sure to be one of the most memorable moments of the new season. The NASCAR Xfinity Series Josh Williams and his mullet depart the race on their terms. So what exactly happened there? What is the Josh Williams controversy surrounding the Xfinity race in Atlanta on March 18th? Join us as we delve deeper into today's video. But before that, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button for more whereabouts on NASCAR. Although Austin Hill will most likely disagree, the Xfinity Series race that took place on Saturday at Atlanta Motor Speedway might just as easily have been called the Rin Tin Tin 250. It was that much of a dog that it even sent Josh Williams to the doghouse known as the NASCAR Hauler. Fans are more likely to remember Williams' temper tantrum near the finish of Stage 1 of the Raptor King of Tough 250 than Hill's third triumph in as many races. This is because Williams' tantrum occurred a year from now. Williams may have been off base in terms of flair, but he and the other drivers were right on target in terms of the substance. After receiving instructions from NASCAR Xfinity Series officials to leave the track during Saturday's race at Atlanta Motor Speedway, veteran driver Josh Williams walked away from the race and parked his number 92 Chevy near the start-finish line before leaving the facility. Williams and Jeb Burton were both involved in an accident that was caused by a mishap that occurred on Turn 2, just 28 laps into the race. Williams mechanics taped over the front and right side of his car, but after he returned to the track, debris started flying around and the officials told him he had to drop out of the race. Williams parked his vehicle at the start-finish line, stepped out of it, and walked to his pit stall rather than making the traditional turn onto the pit road and entering the garage. When he arrived there, the authorities gave him instructions to report to the NASCAR transporter. After the race, officials from the series met with Williams for almost 20 minutes and it is likely that reading their list of penalties levied on Tuesday's weekly race report will take longer than any of the runs under the green flag in Stage 1. The Xfinity race that took place at Atlanta Motor Speedway fulfilled the criterion of a race that is not likely to make for enjoyable watching because it had only as many changes in the lead, 12, as there were vehicles that did not finish the race. In the first stage, the caution flag came out five times, taking 33 of the first 47 laps eight cars didn't make it through the first stage. The typical length of time that the race was run under green flag conditions was only 7.9 laps, which is less than five minutes. Austin Hill, the reigning king of the Xfinity series on super speedways, led 70 of the final 71 laps after we finally had some form of continuity. Other drivers besides Josh Williams voiced their displeasure with the situation, with Justin Allgaier being especially loud when a collision on lap 79 ended his day. As is often said, the Atlanta Motor Speedway got a makeover before the 2022 season. This made the track a super speedway, with double file parades that fall apart when drivers try to form a third line. Allgaier stated, This type of racing following the reconfiguration to this, in my opinion, has absolutely damaged this place. I really hope that we can come up with a solution. It is not in line with what we should be doing for us to continue doing what we are doing right now. I think we may have run as many as 20 green flag laps before the halfway point, there's no question that we need to return to the drawing board. Josh Williams has been quoted as saying, I just wanted to convey my opinion. At Atlanta, NASCAR did the right thing by pulling Josh Williams from the track, as the rules required them to do. Williams was engaged in an accident in the middle of the opening stage, and the work that his pit team attempted to do to tape over the damage was unsuccessful. A factor was the cold weather, which kept the tape from sticking to the torn up and aerodynamically challenged sheet metal. Officials instructed him to go back to the garage so that they could lengthen the caution period because debris was flying off the number 92 Chevy and posing a threat to safety even though the yellow flag was still flying. Williams, who is 29, took issue with the decision, but very few people ever prevail when arguing with NASCAR. Williams came to a complete halt on the track at the start-finish line instead of pulling into the pit lane during the race. He got out of the vehicle, gave a wave to the spectators, and then headed to his crew across the infield and down the pit road. As we move forward in the video, tell us in the comments, what do you think of Josh Williams' bold move to disregard penalties while being an unfunded driver? Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell for more updates. Williams claimed in a meeting with the series director Wayne Otten and the senior vice president of competition for NASCAR, Elton Sawyer, that we all work extremely hard and to only run X amount of laps and then have something like a piece of bare bond tape force us out of the race, it's pretty aggravating. We are a small team we put in a lot of effort. We owe it to our sponsors to ensure that they are satisfied, right? The fact that it is now stored in the garage serves no useful use. What it is cannot be changed. 
we'll take what we've learned and go on. After the event, Williams displayed some contrition and said that it was highly improbable that he would attempt the same stunt again. He said, I didn't do it to be spiteful or make a large scene or for reporters to stick out here. I simply wanted to voice my opinion. Even though that didn't sit well with me, it's written in the rule book. Denny Hamlin later did something surprising in response to this. NASCAR imposed a fine of $50,000 on Denny Hamlin just recently. On the other hand, Hamlin has volunteered to pay further fines. At the Atlanta Motor Speedway on Saturday, drivers in the NASCAR Xfinity Series competed. But as we all know, the driver of the number 92 car, Josh Williams, was involved in an incident that occurred early on in Stage 1 of the competition. Williams was greeted by members of the AMR safety team, as well as NASCAR officials, as soon as he climbed over the pit wall. They were very clear that they wanted him to go to the infield care center. This is standard procedure for any driver who is in an accident and can't drive the car back. I'll see you over there in a moment. Williams responded to a member of the AMR safety crew who most likely instructed him to proceed to the infield care center by saying, well, just hang out over there somewhere. Williams continued by saying, I couldn't care less. What exactly does he intend to do, find me? I'm unable to make the payment at this time. What kind of response will NASCAR have to this? It's not obvious, but it seems likely that there will be some form of penalty. But Denny Hamlin was in this place to make the required restitution. Williams is a driver on the NASCAR ladder who does not have any funding. Denny Hamlin, though, has offered to pay the potential fine that will most certainly be issued in the near future. Through his Twitter account, Denny Hamlin said, I'll pay your fine. In response, Josh Williams said, Thanks, guy. I'm available if you're looking for a new guest on your show. Also contributing was David Reagan, who said, Let me know where I can send a contribution to the fund. So we'll have to wait and see what sanctions NASCAR imposes on Josh Williams. That's all we've got for today. We hope you enjoyed it. Tell us what you think of the video in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We hope to see you in the upcoming video.